Hi lovelies. So this is my last day of my vacation and I just wanted to um, touch base real quick about um, something that I think a lot of people, especially women, struggle with. Um, let me just say that um, me, myself, and bitterness used to be best friends, man. I used to hang out with bitterness. I mean, bitterness and I just hung out, <laughs> to say the least. Bitterness, right? Like what <laughs> what bitterness does to us is is I'm telling you, there's so many effects to it. But um let me just tell you what causes us to get bitter, first of all. And if you have not, first of all, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go over there. Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over to YouTube and subscribe. So first of all, why are we bitter? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, me and bitterness were best friends. We hung out. We were cool. Like real, real cool. Me and bitterness. But let me tell you, um, bitterness is a result of being hurt okay so i want to talk about what happens to us when we are hurt when we are hurt we build this wall it's an imaginary wall but it's a wall no doubt and we build this wall especially women we'll build this wall up of protection okay and so um after we're hurt from someone we loved or someone we cared about or someone we were in an intentional relationship with or even married to, we can find ourselves um, rooted into an anger from the hurt, from the breakup that we cannot really truly define in words. And that anger, if it's not dealt with, will bleed into every facet of our life. It will seriously... It will bleed all over in our life. How we parent, how we're cool with people, how we're nice to our friends, how we're nice to strangers. The I'm telling you, the bitterness will bleed all over the place. But we won't really want to admit that the hurt, how we feel, is just real. But someone that we love, damn it, hurt us. And we're angry, we're upset. We want to really go at it with how we feel right but we don't and so what happens all the words unsaid all the things that we think or thought or i don't know even just different scenarios that we dealt with that we dealt with in private because we didn't even want to tell our friends how hurtful it was <sighs> look that all breeds bitterness and we are all human but I'm telling you with ladies, the bitterness is real, man. Like I said, me and bitterness was best friends. We hung out all the time, okay? But let me tell you, if you don't face your bitterness, if you don't really tackle bitterness down to the ground and tell bitterness you're done, bitterness will go ahead and stay as a best friend in your life, period. And it will just sit there. And you'll find yourself bitter and mad at stuff that you don't even know why. And it's not just about relationships. You're like I said, the bitterness bleeds into all facets of your life. So you're even you even become an angry mom. You become an angry friend. You become an angry daughter. You become an angry sister. And people are like, look, I'm not even gonna talk to her. She got a lot on going on. And every time I try to hold her or hell hold her or, or tell her it's gonna be alright, she don't want to hear it. Because bitterness is the huge wall invisible wall we put up because we've been hurt problem is with the bitterness is that that wall is not a wall of protection but rather a wall of restraining other people to get involved with you now so really the wall that you believe that you're building for protection is really a wall keeping everybody away from you it's causing you to be so so um distasteful people don't want to be bothered with you no more they don't want to even be interactive with you because there's nothing positive you want to say and not to mention when men try to approach you hello love how are you who are you talking to do it does it look like i'm talking I, I mean you're real negative towards the male species because you have allowed the wall of bitterness to build up to where you trust no man 
I don't care what man it is. It could be your uncle. It could be your brother. It could be your father. It could be another man in your life, a cousin, a, a, a friend. It could be another man that you don't want anything to do with because you're what? You're so bitter because you're so angry because you're so disappointed in what happened with ex so-and-so. The ex, right? Do we really ever say anything positive about our exes? Do we? I mean, really. I do have moments where I address and try to be positive about my exes. Why? Because they were a part of my life. I mean... So I try to be like, let's not always look down our nose at our exes. Yes, they were exes. Yes, the relationship expired. But it doesn't mean that you have to be totally against them or totally against their mere interaction with you or their mere existence with you. It is what it is. A lot of times exes are your, bo your best example of how not to love someone. And actually, they help you to be a better person at loving. Because you're like, well, you know, I used to do this with my exes and do that. And in order for me to reinvent and have a better relationship, maybe I need to change how, I was, how, I, how I'm loving. Because I really need to see what it is that it really wasn't working at the time. It really wasn't working and I stuck in it too long. Remember, I talked about this yesterday. We'll be in a relationship if we shrink it down to a relationship being the shirt size. And the shirt is way too small because the relationship you no longer fit no more. But we'll stay in it. Why are you walking around in that shirt way too small? Well, because I don't want to let it go. But it's not fitting you no more. But a lot of times we stay in relationships well past the expiration date. Remember, I tell you all that all the time. But it's all good. We all did it. We all have it. Okay? So I want you guys to understand something. you got to let bitterness go. Bitterness is one of the most toxic things that you can allow to bleed all into your soul. It's not healthy, number one. When you're always angry, you're always hurt, you're always mad. Men try to talk to you, don't talk to me. I'm a woman that don't need no man, okay? We get all that, but you're being nasty to these men. These All these men didn't hurt you. That one did. And even with him, you have to learn to be forgiving i'm not saying to condone what he did or or say that it's okay how he treated you but what i am saying is as long as you keep pouring more fuel on the fire by thinking about him talking about him dealing with him still conversating and having all these you know i don't know we can call platforms where you call your girlfriend up and talk about your ex did this and did that as long as you keep throwing the fuel on the fire about the ex that, that's no longer in your life, you're going to continue to have this ex be a, in, your, in your memory, in your, in your face all the time. The memory is not going to fade because that person is going to remain in your life because you're allowing it. You keep breathe, breathing more air into something that's long gone. Let it go. And not it, just that. Forgive him. I know that doesn't sound pretty. It doesn't sound wonderful. It doesn't sound like even something you even want to hear right now. But you got to let it go. You have got to forgive this person. Your ex that you're holding on to. Because if you don't forgive him for what's happened. And that's not condoning. I said forgive. Forgive meaning to let go of it. You're going to find yourself always bitter with every other man that comes into your life. And you may be hindering the men in your life that could be helping you regain your strength, regain your detachment from bitterness. Because a lot of men are good men out here. They're out here helping and growing women and, and inspiring women and teaching women. And, and really, they're really helping women to find the best version of themselves. So if you're bitter and angry, you're not going to meet those men. You know why? Because you're not even on their frequency. We do have a frequency we carry. So our energetically, we're going to attract men that are in the, on the same frequency as we are. So if you want to enjoy men again, if you want to start to interact with men again, I'm not talking about having sex with these men. I'm just talking about having friendships. 
getting associates, starting to talk, change your mind about all men being like that man. Because if you don't, that bitterness is going to breed and breathe life into your life forever. And I'm telling you, it's just not healthy. You got to let it go. And you got to be willing to say, look, all men aren't bad. So let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to interact with gentlemen that I have, I would never interact with. Gentlemen that have a kind heart. Gentlemen that are really good people. Gentlemen that have some, have something to offer me besides just, and I'm not talking about financially, but have something to offer you to help you get to the next level of you. There's a lot of good men out here, but if you stay rooted in the thought or in the, in the fixation of that ex-man or that person that hurt you or that ex-spouse or that ex-fiance that cheated or whatever it is, it's going to cost you and it's going to cost you more hell than you're going to be willing to pay. And I'm telling you, you're messing up learning some newfound friendships with people because bitterness will be a result of you not being able to engage new found relationships with men that are really cool, really good for you, help to inspire you. It's hard, man, because we can get rooted in, in an anger that we just keep finding ourselves. We, I can't stop being angry with men. Man, you can't do that. <laughs> it's not good, nor is it healthy. And not to mention, a lot of men out here will inspire you to be the best version of you. But a lot of times, because we're so bitter, we don't want nothing to do with them. I don't want nothing to do with men. I ain't got that to do. Men are all dogs. No, they're not. No, they're not. Stop telling yourself that. That is not true. That is inaccurate. Not to mention, that is a prejudicial position and a perspective that is completely and totally illogical. You can't live your life that way and try to basically become a better version of who you are. Being angry all the time. Anger is not healthy for you. And not to mention, it's very exhausting to stay angry all the time and bitter it takes a lot of effort to do that trust me like i said bitterness and i best friends oh yeah we were best friends had so much fun being bitter let me tell you i spent time on bitterness but you know as you get older you realize it's not worth it man we need to get by and through this life with each sex not just one we're going to walk around here not, you know, interacting with men and we're going to find ourselves miserable <laughs> because there's a lot of things you can learn from a man. You ain't going to learn from women. You're not. Same thing with women. We can't spend all our time with, uh, with just uh, men and not have enough females to balance us out. We have to be willing to engage with all, all of our sexes, not just one. All right, so I'm out of here, guys. I just wanted to give you that 411, man. We got to get off of this anger and bitterness. It'll take you off the planet if you let it. All right, guys, share this video. I'm out of here. Like I said, this is my last day of the, of the vacation. I had a great time. But, of course, um, you know, when it gets to the point where you, um, you have to sit and, and get past being rooted in um anger you realize like man i didn't realize how angry i was it took it takes a lot of energy being angry bitter you know and then a lot of times when we're bitter we, we don't really realize that we're hindering ourselves from interactions with other people i mean we really are we're we're hindering ourselves when we can actually be blossoming in new relationships new friendships actually restoring old relationships that maybe our bitterness helped us to destroy because people don't want to be around somebody bitter oh i'm good like mm -mm. i'm not going to her house all i'm gonna hear about is how miserable she is not going over there you don't want that do you like i said subscribe to my to my youtube channel carla nicole wisdom channel you'll learn a lot from from what i got to say over there and over here be sure to share this video like I say all the time, someone's got to hear it. 
I'm Carla Nicole. I always want to provide a unique, unique perspective with a twist of wisdom. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. That's Kep. Have a great day. Bye.